Daniel J. Levitin, this is your brain on music, the science of a human obsession. Do you ever wonder why music has the power to evoke such strong emotions? This is your brain on music, the science of a human obsession, written by Daniel J. Levitin, allows the readers to explore the cognitive aspects behind music and its impact on our lives. Get ready to delve into the fascinating building blocks of music, its evolutionary roots, and the way our brain processes musical stimuli. Uncover the secrets behind musical memories and the emotional connections that music creates in all of us. This book summary will guide you through a captivating journey of music, its influence on human emotions, and the deep-rooted connection it shares with our brains. The Fundamental Elements of Music Music can be defined as a combination of specific building blocks, including pitch, rhythm, tempo, contour, timbre, loudness, and reverberation. These elements give rise to concepts such as melody, which we perceive as music. Pitch provides the note, rhythm involves the duration, tempo determines the speed, and contour determines the shape of the melody. Timbre distinguishes the tonal characteristic of instruments sounding the same note, loudness measures energy, and reverberation determines the sound's distance or the room size in which the sound occurs. When all these elements combine, it creates music. The Evolution of Music Music's origin has been the subject of polarizing perspectives over time, with Steven Pinker arguing that it is merely a byproduct of language and others claiming it serves purely hedonic purposes. However, the majority of music historians agree that it does have evolutionary roots. Music may have been a way of honing the motor skills that vocal speech requires, which could have paved the way for speech in our pre-human ancestors. Additionally, music may have served initially as an early means of courtship, allowing musicians to showcase their biological and sexual fitness. Regardless of whether it serves an evolutionary purpose or not, music impacts us on multiple levels, making it important to study its effects on the brain. The Brain's Response to Music Thanks to modern brain imaging techniques and neuropsychological advances, scientists have identified specific brain regions involved in music processing. These different regions analyze and combine the musical features, and our brain's subcortical structures are the first responders, handling emotions and movements. The auditory cortices come next, followed by the memory center, which includes the hippocampus. Then the brain incorporates all these basic elements, pitch, tempo, etc., to form an integrated representation. This occurs in the more sophisticated areas of the brain, involved in planning and self-control. The brain processes music in parallel, effortlessly figuring out the pitch and direction of the sound at the same time. The brain's response to music elucidates how different regions manage distinct aspects of music, leading to a comprehensive analysis of what we hear. The Emotion in Music have you ever wondered why music can make us emotional? The answer lies in our ability to predict what comes next in the music. Composers imbue music with emotion by deliberately controlling whether or not these expectations will be met. For example, the classic deceptive cadence is when the composer repeats a chord sequence until the listeners expect another repetition, but then an unexpected chord is played that doesn't fully resolve. Another way composers control expectations is through melody. They play with the tendency for the melody to want to go back to its jumping-off point by disrupting our expectations and then compensating by bringing the initial melody back again. The trick is not to overdo it, but to keep building tension, which is the art of composition. This adept manipulation of the expected and the unexpected makes music emotional and engaging. Musical Memories have you ever had a song transport you back in time to a specific moment or event? It turns out that music has a unique ability to unlock memories that may have been buried or forgotten. When we listen to a song, our brain stores an abstract generalization that is later triggered when the song is recalled. This means that even if a song is transposed or slightly altered, our brain can still recognize it almost immediately. 
Research has shown that the same set of neurons are activated when we both listen to and remember music, indicating that music can leave a deep imprint in our brains. The multiple trace memory model suggests that these traces in our memory store both the abstract and specific information contained within the songs. So the next time an old song comes on the radio, it's not just a catchy tune, but a key that unlocks a doorway to past memories and experiences. The Science of Groove Music is more than just sound waves, it's a language that our brains have evolved to understand. The pulse in music, or groove, is what allows us to anticipate certain things at certain points in time. The best grooves involve a subtle aspect of performance, where the drummer speeds up or slows down the tempo in a way that is informed by the emotional nuances of the music. Our brains have evolved to react emotionally to music, and recognizing the pulse and expecting it to occur is an integral component of musical emotion. The cerebellum, the part of the brain that monitors timing and the coordination of physical movement, appears to also be involved in tracking the beat of music and our emotional response. This connection between emotion and movement could be because emotions served as a motivator for us to act, allowing us to react more rapidly to potential threats. The Magic Number of Musical Expertise Becoming a musical expert is not just about natural talent but instead it is the result of practice, practice, practice. Research indicates that it takes at least 10,000 hours of practice to be in the company of the world's best. Both genetics and the environment account for around 50% of one's expertise in a skill such as music. While some of U.S. may have a biological predisposition towards singing or a certain instrument, it is the amount of practice that ultimately determines musical expertise. Musical memories begin in the womb. Research has shown that our early exposure to music shapes our later musical preferences. Even before we are born, we have a preference for the music our mothers listen to during pregnancy. As we get older, familiarity plays a role in what we like. To warm up to a piece of music, it must be neither too simple nor too complex, as predictability is key. Familiarity also ties to our positive experiences with sounds in the past. When we select music, we are seeking comfort and safety, as we are making ourselves vulnerable to it. Music is more than a sound, it has the power to influence our emotions in profound ways. As we come to the end of this captivating book summary, we have learned that music plays an integral role in human life. Daniel J. Levitin expertly breaks down the intricate elements of music, its evolutionary foundations, and the effects of universal building blocks such as rhythm, tempo, and melody. Furthermore, we've explored how our brains process music and how it contributes to our emotions and memories. It is evident that music leaves an imprint on us all, from prenatal exposure to its impact on our cognitive development. Music has the enchanting ability to make us feel alive and help us connect to our memories and emotions throughout life's journey.